So I saw recently that the goal next gen uh, best eat wonder kid list had been released and I thought it would be a fantastic video idea if we ran through the top 50 for you guys. So if you don't know what the next gen list is, essentially it is a list highlighting 50 of the most incredible talents born after 2005. So what that's like people who are um, 18, 19, something like that. But it's a very extensive list. They've done this uh, for years now and we look at all of the world and to be fair a lot of the time they predict the players when nobody really knows them and they do really well players like Drew Bellingham, Rodrigo have uh, featured on these lists when not many people are talking about them so I guess this list is kind of uh, kind of uh, quite credited and I thought it would be a good idea if we run through the top 50 on the goal website I'll put a link to it in the description um, so you can check out the list yourself but I guess I'm going to inform you guys of the list and these are according to goal not me the 50 best youngsters in world football um, in order so we'll find out who they have ranked as number one but yeah of course it is players born on or after January the 1st 2005 but let's begin there's been an interesting one maybe you can react to this in a couple years time and see see how many of these actually went on to do something to if I did a video reacting to I think it was like the 2018 class uh, and looked up where they are now so anyway enough waffling let's begin number 50 Job Bellingham, Sunderland. Talk about pressure. For the uninitiated, Joe Bellingham is the younger brother of Real Madrid star Jude. And there are those who believe the 18 year old will eventually reach a similar level to that of the England international. Like Jude, Joe made his Birmingham City debut at the age of just 16, but surprisingly departed his boyer club to join Sunderland in 2023. Comfortable playing as a central striker or box-to-box -box midfielder, Joe has made over 30 starts in the championship since moving, and even though he has yet to set the world alight, that hasn't stopped some of Europe's biggest clubs from showing an interest in signing him. Number 49. Nestre Iracunde, Adelaide United. Not since Tim Gale retired have Australian football fans and it had a genuine world star to call their own. But that might be about to change from following the emergence of Nestre Iracunde. The forward has already agreed to join Bayern Munich in the summer of 2024 for a fee that will double the previous record sale by an A-League club, and it's easy to see why the German giants were so keen to snap him up. Irigunde's rocket of a left foot helped him reach double figures for top flight goals before his 18th birthday, and earned him a first Australia call-up in 2023. Able to play off both flanks, his dead ball ability is particularly eye-catching, with Chelsea among those who showed an interest in signing him before Bayern swooped. Number 48. Benjamin Kramashi into Miami. Most young players can only dream of getting to train alongside Lionel Messi on a daily basis, so Benjamin Kramashi must have been dumbstruck when the eight-time Ballon d'Or winner arrived into Miami. Grimaggi, 19, had already established himself in the Miami midfield by that point, but his game went to the next level during the second half of the 2023 MLS season as he began to build a strong bond with Messi. That relationship 
relationship could yet continue at international level if Gramaggi opts to represent Argentina, for whom he is el eligible, though his call up to the United States squad late last year suggests he will opt to represent the country of his birth. Number 47. Sver Niepen Rosenborg Once a staple of European competitions, Norwegian outfit Rosenborg have fallen on harder times in recent years, but in Sven Niepen do seem to have developed a talent worth following. The 17-year-old midfielder, who has been likened to compatriot Martin Odegaard in his homeland, due to his two-footedness and passing range, is already a regular in the Rosenborg first team after becoming the club's youngest ever debutant back in 2022. Man United are among the clubs who are said to be tracking the teenager's progress closely, with Nippon having already entrusted super agent Rafael Pimenta with negotiating his next move. Number 46 Augustin Roberto River Plate If Manchester City bound Claudio Ischevlo is the Batman of River Plate, then Augustin Roberto is his Robin. Not as technically refined as his compatriot, Roberto is a pure goal scorer and one who is appearing on the radars of plenty European clubs. The 18-year-old finished as the Golden Boot winner at the 2023 Under-17 World Cup, where he scored eight goals as Argentina reached for semis. His performances at the tournament have opened the door for him to get a first taste of senior football at River, and he is expected to gradually earn more minutes throughout 2024. If he continues to impress, his 25 million release clause will be activated sooner rather than later. Number 46, Julian Lichkov, Ajax. Ajax are renowned for their development of technically gifted midfielders, but less known for producing bona fide goal getters. However, Julian Lickoff looks like bucking the trend in Amsterdam, with a little help from Borussia Dortmund. The striker left Ajax to join Dortmund in January 2021, after decimating opposition in the Netherlands, despite regularly playing a couple of years above his own age group. He continued to score freely in Germany, netting 65 and 79 youth games, but could not force his way into the senior squad. Consequently, he returned to Ajax in early 2024, and the move has paid off, with the 19-year-old finding first-team opportunities at his boyhood club. Number 44, Asantio Real Betis Born in Senegal but raised in Spain, Asantio's football showcases both sides of his upbringing with a Real Betis winger, a powerful and an energetic runner, who also possesses great technical ability with a ball at his feet. Formerly a central midfielder, the 18-year-old displayed his newfound attacking abilities early this campaign, when he marked his first two senior starts with a goal in each game. Those performances alerted Premier League clubs such as Brentford, while Real Madrid have also been credited with interest, with Diao having an attractive 25 million release clause in his contract. Number 43, Archie Gray, Leeds. Most football mad families are fortunate if just one member of their clan makes it as a professional player. But for Archie Gray, Playing for Leeds United is just part of a family business. Gray's father, grandfather and great uncle all represented the Whites. But there is a real chance that the 18-year-old could surpass them all with his achievements. 
where he first made police bench as a 15 year old and eventually forced his way into the lineup at the start of this season. He has become a near ever present under Daniel Fark as he began the campaign in central midfield before showcasing his versatility by switching to right back. An England youth captain, Gray's performances have seen him linked with Liverpool and Man United, though it could take a bid up to £40 million to take him away from Ellen Road. Can't lie, I thought Archie Gray would be a little bit higher than that, but... Oh well, I should probably also say I've not actually seen the list. I, 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 actually, I, I mean, I know he wins, but I haven't seen all the rest, so this is kind of a raw reaction as well from me. Number 42, Julian Dolanville, Borussia Dortmund. Back in 2022, when Vincent Kompany was asked to name who, other than Mbappé or Haaland, could challenge for the Ballon d'Or in the future, he named two players. Barca sensation Gavi, and then unknown and elect teenager Julian Dolanville. As endorsements go, that's got to be right up there. Company had handed Durantville his senior debut during his final match in charge for Anderlecht, and the Basie forward went on to become the second youngest scorer in the club's history. The 17 year old's potential convinced Dortmund to fork out 7 million to sign him in January, and by the end of last season, he had forced himself into the first team picture. Injury setbacks have stalled his progress this campaign. But Derenville is still seen as the leader of Belgium next gen. Number 41, Ethan Noiri, Arsenal. Becoming the Premier League's youngest ever player has not always guaranteed success, but current record holder Ethan Noiri certainly has all the credentials to become more than just a quiz question as he continues to take the first steps in his career. The first player to ever appear in the Premier League before their 16th birthday. Nawiri is a forward who has all the attributes required to become a regular at the Emirates. Now 16, he has begun to appear more and more in Arteta's matchday squads, with the Gunners having done well to fend off interest from both Chelsea and Man City last summer. Number 40, Paris Bruno, Borussia Dortmund. While Yusufer Magogo maybe hasn't set the world alight in the way many believed he would when he broke into the Dortmund first team, there is a belief that the new Magogo, Paris Bruner, can replicate his remarkable goal record in underage football once he graduates to the senior squad. The 18 year old forward enjoyed a 2023 to remember as he won both the Under 70 World Cup and Euros with Germany taking home the play of a tournament prize at both competitions. While he waits for his chance in the Dortmund first team, other elite clubs from around Europe are tracking his progress, though Brunner needs to eradicate the disciplinary issues that have plagued his campaign this year, if he is to realise his full potential. Number 39, Ben Doak, Liverpool. If not for a knee injury that required surgery in December, Liverpool fans would likely have seen plenty of Ben Doak in action this season, given the senior squad's fitness issues this year. However, the Anfield faithful have already seen enough of Doak since his arrival from Celtic to know what the Reds have on their hands. The youngest Scotsman to ever play in the Premier League 18-year-old Doak's direct and physical dribbling has drawn comparisons to Wayne Rooney, and there are those who believe he can fill the void left by Mo Salah when he inevitably leaves Liverpool. Number 38, Franco Mastuanto, River Plate. Julian Alvarez, Enzo Fernandez, Claudio Echevlio, the dance to have merged from the River Plate Academy in recent years is hugely impressive, and Franco Mastuando looks set to add his name to that list. He actually rejected River's first invite to their academy as he eyed a career in tennis, and he was even ranked within the top 10 Argentine players for his age. However, he ended up choosing football and a versatile midfielder looks to have made the right choice, having already become River's 
youngest ever goalscorer, age 16. Tellingly, Barcelona and Man United are already said to be interested in acquiring him. Number 37, Marc Gouy, Barcelona. How does one gain half a million Instagram followers within a matter of hours? Marc Gouy's answer was to score with his first touch for the Barcelona first team, as his late winner against Atletico Bilbao turned the striker into an overnight sensation in Spain. The 18-year-old backed up that strike with his first Champions League goal in December, and though La Masia doesn't usually develop physical number nines, the Barca Academy looks to have built a seriously strong centre forward in Gui. Indeed, he is already challenging big money signing Vita Roque for minutes, and is only going to be more involved over the next 12 to 18 months. I should also note that I am absolutely butchering these names. Anyway, I'm going to butcher this next one, but... Number 36, George Linkenna, Royal Antwerp. Dubbed the new Romelu Lukaku in Belgium, Royal Antwerp striker George Linkenna actually got his footballing education in France after moving to Europe from Nigeria as a three-year-old. He is putting back grounding to good use this season, with the DNA striker enjoying a superb breakout campaign. Having joined the Belgium champions from Amiens in the summer, Illingena has been a revelation in the Jubilee League and is closing in on a 20-goal campaign across all comps. The 17-year-old who dreams of one day playing for Man United also has a stoppage time winner against Barcelona on his resume, having netted against the Spanish Giants during the Champions League group stages. Number 35, Paul Wanner, Bayern Munich, on loan at Elfsburg. An extraordinary talent was how former Bayern Munich manager Julian Nagsman described Paul Wanner after he made the attacking midfielder the youngest player in the club's history. And that is a sentiment that is shared by most who have watched the teenager in action. A tall, languid number 10, Wanner is using his current loan spell at second division side Elfsburg to improve his physicality, with the hope being that he will then become a regular Pialians over the next couple years. The 18-year-old has also long been seen as a future star for Germany, though Austria boss Ralf Ragnick is doing everything he can to convince Werner to switch allegiances ahead of Euro 2024. Number 34, Isaac Babardi, PSV. PSV might be closing in on an undefeated Eredivisie season, but off the pitch, their most important achievement Thus far was successfully negotiating a new deal with out of contract teenage star Isaac Babardi. A true box to box midfielder, Babardi's ability to dribble through the middle of opposition teams is seen as his biggest asset, while the midfielder has also been singled out for his leadership after captaining the Netherlands at youth level. Number 33, Elise Ben Segar. Monaco. Until recently, Elise Ben Cigar described himself as an artist in his Instagram bio, and the Monaco midfielder has probably got that description bang on, given the fluid way he is able to move with a football at his feet. If not for injury problems, his art might have gone fully mainstream by now. The 19 year old marked his league and debut with a spectacular brace and he continued to chip in with goals and assists for the remainder of the campaign. Those aforementioned fitness problems have restricted him this year, but when he's been on the pitch, he has shown just why he is one of French football's top prospects. Number 32, Simone Buffonde, Udinese, on loan at Lausanne. Back in November 2022, Simone Buffundi's potential was such that he convinced Italy manager Roberto Mancini to make him the youngest player in over 100 years to represent the Azzurri. The forward's potential remains high, but he has 
since been forced to leave his homeland in a bid to truly kickstart his career. The 18-year-old found opportunities hard to come by at Udinese and thus joined Ineos owned Lazon on loan. But Funde, whose magical left foot allows him to play either as a number 10 or right-sided forward, has made an encouraging start to life in Switzerland and recently netted his first senior goal as he fully looks to establish himself as one of Europe's top tasks. Number 31, Jack Hingelwood, Brighton. Brighton have earned a reputation for being one of European football's smartest teams when it comes to identifying and developing its superstars. However, it is one of their homegrown heroes, Jack Hingelwood, who has really caught the eye. The 18 year old comes from a family of footballers and is impressed at the heart of De Zerbe's midfield while also displaying his versatility by filling up in at right back on occasion. Hingelwood also has a useful hobbit, habit of popping up with the odd important goal and if he continues on his current trajectory he looks like an England international in the making. Number 30 Eli Junior Globby Lorient Timu Bakioko saw firsthand the emergence of Gillian and Papi at Monaco, so he knows talent when he sees it. As such, he claimed that current Lorient teammate Eli Junior Globby can be the next Mbappe. For his part, 17 year old Globby has gone some way to living up to such a major comparison. The youngest player and goal scorer in Lorient history, the teenager is closing in on double figures for goal involvements in Liga this season, despite his team facing a battle to avoid relegation. Number 29, Dean Holdson, Juventus, on loan at Roma. Where can Holson go? There are no limits because he has a level of knowledge, reading and playing the game that is difficult to teach a first team player. Those are the comments of Roma interim manager Daniel De Lossi, who has fallen in love with Juventus' Loney Holtzson. Holtzson has long been earmarked as a future pillar of the Juve defence, and the 18 year old has shown that he is ready for regular Serie A action since arriving at Roma. He also made a big call on his international future this week as he looks set to turn his back on the country of birth, the Netherlands, and instead represents Spain. Number 28, Francesco Camarda, AC Milan. It was always going to take a special turn to use Paolo Maldini as Milan's youngest ever player. But that's just what Francesco Camarda did when he made his Rosaneri bow. The striker also became Serie A's youngest ever player that night, having long been earmarked as a potential star. The definition of a goal machine at youth level, Camarda has netted over 500 times for Milan's academy sides. A boyhood Milan fan, there is fear that the 16 year old could leave the club if the two parties cannot agree on his first professional contract. Number 27, Gianluca Prestiani, Benfica. In Argentina, being given a nickname, Polga, comes with certain con connotations. That was the same nickname bestowed upon Lionel Messi in his early days. So Gianluca Bristoni has a lot to live up to. But the early signing, early signs are promising. A revelation at Boyer Club Velez Sarsfield. Plestiani's fearless dribbling and close control marked him out as a special talent. Benfica won the race for the 18 year old winger and it will be interesting to watch him develop in Lisbon over the coming months. Number 26, Valentin Galboni, into Milan, on loan at Monza. Back in June 2023, Inter CEO Beppe Marotta advised the 
assembled breast to take Valentin Garboni in fantasy football this season. And though Vanilla Zulu's attacking midfielder might not have put the numbers to please his fantasy managers, he has shown he can compete at the highest level. The 19 year old has quickly established himself as a fixture in Serie A while showing off his versatility, with Garboni able to play as a number 10 or a wide forward. He represented Italy at youth level but has since opted to play for Argentina and has been involved in many Argentina squads. Number 25, Amara Duf, Generation Foot. A genuine phenomenon, Amara Duf has already made his full Senegal debut at the age of 15. He has become the African nation's youngest ever player, and that international battle came off the back of a forward breaking Victor Osman's record for the most goals at a single under 17 AFCON. He looks set to follow the now play superstar to the very top. Duff is currently developing at Senegal's famed Generation Foot Academy, where he's been compared to former graduate Sadio Mane. He will follow in Mane's footsteps too when he joins the Mets in 2026, as the French club beat off competition from the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Man City, and Arsenal to sign Duff. Number 24, Asan Uchlago, Schalke. There has not been much to cheer about at Schalke in recent years, but the emergence of Asan Uchlago has put a smile on the faces of fans. Standing at 6 foot 3, the midfielder's stature is insane considering his tender age, but Uchlago has shown in his short career he can put his physical gifts to good use. The 17 year old proved in the early weeks of the season that he is already too good for the German second division. And though he's missed the past four months of action with an ankle injury, he is set to return for the business end of the season. And clubs around Europe will be watching on with interest. Number 23 Lucas Bergvall. Garden. Swedish football is at something of a low ebb right now after an, an embarrassing Euro 2024 campaign or well, qualifying campaign but there is hope with a new generation can lift the Scandinavian nation back to its heights with the 18 year old Lucas Bergvall having been earmarked as a potential leader. In less than two years Bergvall who spent time on a trial at Man United has gone from debuting in the Swedish second division to being unveiled as Tottenham's newest signing via an impressive season. After rejecting advances from Barcelona, Bergvall will complete his move to North London this summer. Number 22, Desire Doe, Ren. From Usman Dembele to Eduardo Camavinga to Mateus Del, Ren recent hit rate when it comes to academy products is among the best in Europe and Desire Doe looks like the French club's latest success story. A two-footed midfielder, the 18-year-old has already racked up almost 70 appearances for Ren and reportedly rejected a move or Ren at least rejected the move for him by Berlevergusen in January. There is though a strong chance he moves this summer with Dortmund and Newcastle tracking his progress. Number 21, Estavo Willian Palmeiras. It's not often that a pro-typical Brazilian forward reminds you of an Argentine wizard, but it's already clear that Palmeiras prodigy Estavio Willian is a rare breed. The 16 year old has been keen to shake off the comparisons to Messi, but there is no doubt that his small stature, incredible agility, is similar to that of the Argentine legend. Brazilian fans have known about Estavio ever since he signed a deal with Nike aged 10, but fans around the world 
will soon know his name. Two. Number 20, Louis Dillingham Palmeiras. While Hendrick dominates all the headlines at Palmeiras, there is another academy product who spent his whole youth career playing alongside Hendrick, who also looks set for a place at the top table of European football. A pacey winger, Louis Gilham is most comfortable playing off the right hand side before cutting on to his lethal left foot. The 18 year old, who has also provoked comparisons with Rivaldo, has been linked with a move to Liverpool and Chelsea. Number 19, Louis Miley, Newcastle. Louis Miley has long been tipped for the top by those who have followed Newcastle's underage teams. But nobody could have foreseen the immediate impact the 17 year old has made on the first team. And almost ever present since making his first Premier League start in November, Miley was exceptional during the Champions League group stages, most notably in a draw with PSG at the Pot de Plants. He is already Newcastle's youngest ever Premier League goal scorer after signing a new long term contract in January. Miley should become the homegrown centerpiece of the Magpie's ambitious project. Damn, a little bit surprised to see Miley this high, but he is a top down to be fair. Number 18, Arthur Fearman, Atletico Magellit. Belgium's golden generation may be past their peaks, but that doesn't mean that the Red Devils will soon disappear with a number of young talents emerging. One of the most impressive is Arthur Fearman, whose potential was confirmed when Atletico Madrid agreed to sign the 19-year-old in January. Atleti were convinced of Fearman's ability after watching him play a major role in Antwerp winning the Belgium League and Cup last season. As the teenager barely missed a minute, a deep line playmaker, Fearman is already a full Belgium international and promises to become a key member of Simeone's side once he is fully settled in Spain. Number 17, Paul Cooper Capasi, Barcelona. After Paul Capasi shone for Barcelona against Santafe in February, his teammate Joao Cancelo wrote on the teenager's Instagram, Franz Beckenbauer Kabasi. So impressed was the Portuguese by the defender's performance. In truth, he's not the only one to be a wowed by the 17-year-old. Kabasi is just the latest gem from La Masia to make themselves at home, with Ronald Araujo having compared him to Gerard Piquet. The next job for Barca is to tie down the young Catalan with Man City having made known they would be keen on signing him. I thought he'd be a bit higher to be honest because he's been exceptional when I've seen him recently but he is what it is. Number 16, Gabriel Moscardo, PSG on loan at Glimpians. The importance of an elite defensive midfielder is becoming more and more apparent. So PSG were unsurprisingly keen to bring in a potential game-changing number six when Moscato became available in January. That the French champions did the deal despite the 18-year-old requiring foot surgery, ruling him out for the rest of the season is a testament to his talent. With Moscato having already been compared to Declan Rice following his breakout campaign at Corinthians. Brazil's fans also believe he can become Brazil's long-term Casemiro successor, which is really saying something, given Moscato still only has 25 senior appearances to his name. Right in the top 15 now, this is where things really ramp up now. Number 15, Gilliam Restes to lose. When asked what he made of the new France under 21, Number one, Guillaume Restes. Manager Thierry Henry said he gives me an impression that he is 200 games in Liga. He reminds me of a young Fabian Barthes. 
given a 19 year old wrist is, has made given a start sorry wrist has made to a senior career becoming France's premium shot stopper he is every inch for modern goalkeeper with his agility between the posts only matched with his ability on the ball he is already one of the best keepers in Liga and it won't be long before the rest of Europe is familiar with his work number 14 Kendry Pires independent Chelsea have shown they're not afraid to spend big to ensure they acquire the superstars of the future and in Kendry Pires they look to have secured themselves a gem the 16 year old will join up with the Blues in the summer of 2025 Pires has long been seen as the first global star to emerge from Ecuador and the early indicators are that he can live up to those lofty expectations a full international he already holds the record as the youngest goal scorer in the history of South American World Cup qualifying and is likely to play a key role for one of the dark horses in the summer's Copa America number 13 Rooney Bargaggi FC Copenhagen few players can claim to have a winning goal against Man United in the Champions League on their CV before their 18th birthday but that's exactly what Rooney Bargaggi was able to conjure up that strike introduced Rooney to a wider audience but the tricky Copenhagen forward was already well known to fans in Denmark and his native Sweden the 18 year old broke the record for the youngest goal scorer in the Danish Super League history back in 2021 and this season has reached double figures for goals for the first time in his career. Number 12, Sholo Hato, Ajax. Even for a club such as Ajax, whose history is so steep in developing young players, seeing them being led out for a European match by a 17 year old earlier this season was quite the sight. But that just speaks to the maturity possessed by Jolo Hato, who is set to become the latest Ajax Academy graduate to become a household name. Now 18, Hato has proven one of a few bright spots during a gloomy campaign, with the defender having established himself in the starting lineup while going on to make his full Netherlands debut. Number 11, Antonio Nusa, Club Blue. The Norwegian Neymar is quite the nickname to live up to, but so far Antonio Nusa looks capable of following in Erling Haaland and Martin Odegaard's footsteps by becoming a fumbling face of the Scandinavian region. The winger's stocks has recently risen significantly and Club Brugge are almost certain to cash in at the end of the campaign. He has made a glittering start to his international career as he both scored an assist on his full debut in September before providing three further assists in his next two caps. Tottenham click came close to a 25 million deal to sign Noosa in January, but that ultimately failed. However, other clubs are likely to be interested come this summer. Right, the top 10 now. Number 10, Lenny Yoro. Lenny Yoro is an extraordinary player. Never in my career have I come across such a mature young man. Those were the words of Leo manager Paolo Fonseca. Yolo, 18, has been linked, likened to Rafa Varane and William Saliba after emerging in Liga with his unimposing physique hiding a player whose dribbling ability is superb for a centre-half. Yoro routinely starts, Leo attacks from a back, while also popping up with your goal from set pieces. Real Madrid and PSG all look set to fetch upwards of £50 million for Yoro when the transfer window starts. And whoever wins that race will be adding an elite level defender to their armory. Number 9, Claudio Ischevle, Manchester City, on loan at River Plate. Many young Argentines have whittled under the pressure of being dubbed the next Messi, but Claudio Ischevle certainly seems to have both the talent and character to carry the burden. Europe's biggest 
biggest clubs went out their way to secure his signature over the past year, only for Man City to win out in the end. The winger will remain alone at River Plate until the end of the season, with the hope being that he will truly ignite in South America over the next nine months or so, capable of playing as a number 10 or either wing. A Jeffrey's quick feet and direct dribbling style makes him a nightmare for defenders. Number 8. Kenan Yildiz, Juventus. Few teenagers can claim to receive regular phone calls from Alessandro Del Piello after their matches, but Kenan Yildiz is no ordinary teenager. Having broken into the Juve first team, the forward has already done enough to suggest that he will become one of the pillars of Bianca Nelly over the next decade. An attacking midfielder who is able to cut through the opposition defence up will. He has copied the legendary number 10 celebration after scoring his first senior goal in December 2023 in his first Serie A stop. Gildas has barely been out of Allegri's lineup ever since, and his ability to Juve's ability to persuade the teenager to leave Bayern Munich and pick them over Barca back in 2022 is now being richly rewarded. Look out for him too at Euro 2024, with Yildiz likely to be a key figure for Turkey. Number 7. Kobe Mainu Man United Finding reliable centre mids has been one of United's many issues over the past decade, but it seems that in Kobe Mainu, they might, may have finally struck gold. A product of United's famed academy, Mainu was expected to find a place in Den Haag's team from the start of the campaign, but injury in pre-season ruled him out. However, upon his return, the 18-year-old has taken to Premier League football like a duck to water and has regularly put some of his more senior colleagues in the shade with his assured performances. His displays have even led to him earning a call-up to the England squad and even if he doesn't make it to Euro 2024, it surely can't be long before the Free Lions come calling. Number 6 Vitor Roca, Barcelona. Brazil now have struggled to find a reliable number 9 since the retirement of R9, but there is a feeling that in Vitor Roca, Brazil might finally have found their heir. That is in part due to the similarities in both their styles and career paths. Like Ronaldo, Vitor came through the Cruzeiro Academy, but shortly after his breakthrough in the first team, he joined Atletico Balanesis and scored 21 goals in all competitions in 2023, prompting Barca to pay an initial 30 million to sign the striker last summer. With Robert Lewandowski not getting any younger, it is expected that Vitor, who has already been capped at senior level by Brazil, will step into the bowl shoes in the not too distant future. Right. Top 5 now, number 5 is Arda Gula, Real Madrid. When it comes to signing teenage talents, a few do it better than Real Madrid right now, so it should have come as no surprise to see the Spanish Giants win the race to sign Arda Gula. The playmaking midfielder had been linked with pretty much every top European club and was already easy to see why. Having emerged from the Fernabachi Academy in 2021, by the end of 21-22 campaign, he had become the club's youngest ever goalscorer. Some even went as far to christen him as the Turkish Messi. Though never a regular starter for his boy at club, much to the disappointment of many Fernabachi fans, Gula still managed to score 9 goals and provide 12 assists in his two seasons with the team. It was that form that convinced Madrid to pay an initial 17 million to bring him to the Bernabeu. Madridsters have only seen glimpses of a 19-year-old's potential thus far, after a spat of injuries ruined Gula's first six months in Spain. However, now that he is fit, the hope is that he can provide Ancelotti with game-changing option off the bench down the final stretch of a campaign. While he is also likely to play a key role for Turkey at the Euro 2024. So watch out for Turkey with him and Kenan Yildiz. Number 4. Mateus Tell, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich's 23 24 
Nazism has, to say the least, not gone according to plan. But one of the big positives to take away from the campaign has been the development of Matthias Attell. A sent off during his early days in the Ron Academy, Tell switched to playing an attack during his mid teens and has never looked back. At 16, he broke Gamavinga's record in becoming the French club's youngest ever player. Tell has been limited to almost exclusively substitute appearances during his first two campaigns in Bavaria, but he has taken almost every opportunity afforded to him when he has made it onto the pitch. The 18 year old averages a direct goal contribution every 90 minutes for Bayern. Capable of playing as either a wide forward or central striker, his ability has earned him comparisons to Kylian Mbappe. He has already led France to glory at the under 17 Euros in 2022, and with more senior forwards coming towards the end of their international careers, the thought of Del partnering Mbappe up front for Le Bleu should be a scary one for defenders. Honestly, I was a little bit surprised to see Del this high, although he does have some great ability. Right, the top three, top three. Do you guys know who the top three is? Who do you think it is? Well, in number three, it is Warren, Sai, Emery, PSG. We will soon live in a world where Mbappe no longer plays for PSG, and the French champions will be looking for individuals who can lead them into their new era. In Warren, Sai, Emery, they already have a teenager who be can become the face of the club for the next decade. The French champions do not have a great record when it comes to giving homegrown talents for chance, but as soon as I Emery emerged, he was fast-tracked to the first team. PSG's youngest ever debutant and goalscorer, Zai Emery has become almost ever-present under Luis Enrique, and there is an argument to suggest that only Mbappe is more important to their goals. Certainly, Zai Emery's performances in the Champions League this season have been exceptional. The youngest French player to ever score in the competition, his European exploits convinced Deschamps to hand him a senior debut, and he marked that with a goal on his debut. Zaya Emery is able to dictate games from deep. His passing ability is already among the best in Europe, and Pep Guardiola is a noted fan having already tried to sign the teenager in the past. If PSG is unable to hit the heights of recent times, don't be surprised if others come calling for Zaya Emery. There might not be a better midfielder in the world in a few years time. Very strong, very strong. Honestly, surprised he wasn't too, but looking at number two, it makes sense because number two is Hendrik Palmelis. Not since Neymar's emergence has there been the level of excitement that surrounds Hendrik in Brazil. With the forward regarded as a superstar in waiting after his headline grabbing emergence. Real Madrid definitely agree with that notion, otherwise they would not have agreed to pay the eye watering fifty two million pound release clause in Hendrik's contract. The 17-year-old will not complete his move to the Bernabeu until the summer, but excitement among Madristas is palpable, especially after they watched Hendrik fire Palmeiras to the Brazilian title late in 2023. The youngest player in Palmeiras history, Hendrik has been making defenders look foolish for much of his short career. Hendrik has also been capped by Brazil twice already becoming the youngest player to be called up since R9. His versatility, his versatility is likely to be important when it comes to his international career, with the five-time World Cup winners really short of elite attacking options. Back at club level, the thought of him combining with Jude Billingham, Vinicius Jr. and potentially Kylian Mbappe is a mouth-watering Young players like Hendrik don't come along that often, and Madrid can offer him the perfect environment to grow into a true Galactico. Alright, and finally, number one, 
according to goal. The best wonder kid in world football. The best player under the age of 19 is Lamine Yamal, Barcelona. Lamine Yamal might only be 16, but within the corridors of La Masia, his name has been whispered for some time already. The talk has long been that Barcelona's famed academy has done the seemingly impossible by conjuring up a successor to Messi. It might seem like hyperbole to suggest Yamal will ever reach the level of Messi, but there is no doubt that in Yamal, Barca have produced a player who is capable of defining a generation. The list of records Yamal has already broken is remarkable. He is the youngest player to ever start for Barcelona, the youngest goalscorer in both Barca and La Liga history, the youngest player to ever start a Champions League match, and both the youngest player and goalscorer in Spanish national team history. Of course, the Blaclana will need to be careful with Yamal as their over-reliance on teenagers in recent years has led to those youngsters suffering injury problems such as Gavi and Pedri. But if Jamal can be managed properly, then there isn't a teenage player of greater potential anywhere in football right now. He is a truly special talent, and your next gen 2024 winner. So there we go, that is the next gen 50 best wonder kids in the world football. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you have enjoyed it, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in another video.